This video explains how to fix your printer when you see a carriage jam error message on your computer, or the printer's check paper and check cartridge lights blink while the start copy color and start copy black remain lit. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a self-test page to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button, and then press the start copy color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Do not remove jam paper at this time, but begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. If the printer does not turn off, turn to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Remove the rear access door. To do this, we first need to locate the tab to unlock the rear access door. Push the tab toward the right-hand side of the printer and pull out the rear access door. Check the rear area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the rear of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reattach the rear access door. Gently push the tabs on the right side of the rear access door into the appropriate slots on the printer and push the door forward until it snaps into place. If you can now remove the paper jam from the back, we will attempt to remove it from the front. Turn to the front again. Open the cartridge access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future paper jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path of the flashlight is probably the most important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back again. Plug the power cord back in. Turn to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button, and then press the start copy color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. 
The carriage might try to move to the right side of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord. Turn to the front. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. If the carriage is stuck on the right and does not move freely, it may have been moved out of position while inserting the cartridges. Place your hand between the carriage and the side of the printer. Gently but firmly apply pressure to the carriage, pushing it to the left until it clicks. Substantial force may be required. The carriage should now be able to move from the left to the right. Moving the carriage the full width of the carriage path will help find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If you find any obstructions while moving the carriage, remove them. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord. Turn to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Try printing a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button and then press the Start Copy Color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we will fix this. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move to the right side of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Wait until the carriage stops moving and then gently press down on the cartridge to release it. You can then remove the cartridge from the printer. Repeat this process to remove the second cartridge. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. Be careful not to touch the contacts or nozzles because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. The next step is to reinstall the cartridges back into the printer. Now this part is very important. When inserting the cartridge, use your left hand on the back of the printer to keep the printer from moving while you insert the cartridge. As you're inserting the cartridge, do not use the top of the printer for leverage. This can cause the carriage to lift out of position and damage the printer. Let's start with the black cartridge. Hold the cartridge with the paper label on the top and then insert the cartridge back into the right carriage slot. Push the cartridge firmly into the slot until it snaps into place. Next, let's do the same for the tricolor cartridge. Hold the cartridge with the paper label on the top and then insert the cartridge back into the left carriage slot. Push the cartridge firmly into the slot until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button and then press the start copy color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. And then, plug it back into the printer. Move back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. 
Try printing a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button and then press the start copy color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. First, remove all paper in the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord. Pull the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow time for all power to drain from the printer. Reconnect the power cord to the wall outlet. Then plug the power cord back into the printer and go back to the front. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a self-test page again to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press and hold the cancel button and then press the start copy color button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the self-test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the self-test page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.